Well, tonight we're going to be trying to polish the threads. I've managed to get them so that they fit onto the shaft, but they're still a little tight. And I don't want to screw them up with a file. And since I don't have an inch and a half, eight thread to tap, I'm going to work individually. See if I can't get this buffing wheel to go into the threads and clean them up a little bit and shine them. After polishing on the chucks threads for about 15 minutes, it didn't seem to have much of an effect. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to take a rubber wheel, and using a sharpening stone, I'm going to grind a 60 degree taper on it. So that I've got a V-shape on the edge of the wheel, and I'll use that to go in and polish the insides of the threads. Let's see how that does. Well, the thing that worked the best is taking this rubber wheel, cutting it to a 60 degree angle, and just going in and polishing the threads. This chuck is, is stamped inch and a half eighth. The spindle on the south bend is also an inch and a half eighth. This says south bend on the adapter. That's what the plate is for. And I know the spindle on the, the lathe itself is good because all the other chucks fit right on. Buying this on eBay, I got one that was not right. Uh, it's been used, I don't know where they used it, I don't know how they used it, I don't know what they did with it. Uh, when I got it, it had been dipped in acid. You can see the difference between the, the plain surface over here and the acid etch surface and I assume that was because it was rusty. You can see the line right here. They put the chuck into a bath of acid. But I think there was more to it than just that. I think somebody abused this chuck. 
making it work, but it's not easy. getting is a polish on the threads. I'm not taking off a lot of metal. I tried spotting it in by using a magic marker and running a wipe on it to see where it uh, was hanging up and a whole lot of little dinks, a whole lot of little divots and dents showed up on the steel. So I went in after it with a file and I knocked down the high spots but it's really difficult to get into it with a file like this. So then I thought maybe I could just polish it because it wasn't really, really stuck. I mean, I could put it on there with a wrench, but I didn't want to have to constantly be putting the chuck on and taking it off with a wrench for fear that someday it just wouldn't come off. So I've been polishing on it with a, with a triple E and a buffing wheel, and that was making a difference, but it wasn't going fast. The rubber wheel seems to make the biggest difference of all, and I've got it almost to seat flush. The chuck really lines up on this ring right here and this flat surface, which I'm going to have to polish up with a stone. Doing that, I can see that I got just a few high spots, but mostly it's dense. And the dents don't bother anything as long as all the high spots are even and flat. Shouldn't have any problem with it. So I've got a shiny spot right here at the lead thread. Still just a little bit more. Slowly sneaking up on it. But it's still not right. Well, it fits now. I can spin it on by hand. It does lock up when it hits the flats, but I expect that. But in the process of, of polishing this up, I've warmed it up. So before I go sliding it on there and having it stick, I'm going to let it cool off. 